Yes, guys, a little morning cough, but I'm afraid that came with a little morning drizzle, postponing our tennis plans. We've been forced to take a drive and ponder tennis to most profound thoughts, such as how far have we come on this journey? Ben, today marks a special day. Do you know what it is? It's November 13th. I want you to think back to May 13th. Six months ago? Yes. <clears throat> the six-month anniversary wow. of your tennis birth. Is that when I signed this ridiculous contract? Ridiculous is an overstatement. <laughs> but yes, it's when you embarked on trash bin tennis, rigorous training program, and um, happy to say you survived. I'm not gonna say you thrived. But I, I got C's, C's get degrees. C's get degrees, you've made it out in one piece. Great. Um, how how are you I feeling? Go? How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, tennis wise. Tennis wise. I, I mean, I love tennis more now than I did six months ago, for sure. It's been by far the best hobby that I have adopted in my life. I used to like see people that really cared about something. Like my brother he loved playing basketball and he would go out and shoot for hours and I'd be like, I wish I don't care like that about anything. But I feel that way about tennis. This has been something that's gotten me through the pandemic. Oh yeah, for sure. I was laid off from my job. My marriage Brutal. is on the rocks. Yeah, things aren't haven't been going well for you. If it weren't for tennis, who knows where it'd be? You're, you'd be on Suey Watch, that's where you'd be. Some might say the beautiful game saved my life. Oh. All right, let's not get crazy. Um, we, If you recall, six months ago, we laid down some milestones that we set out to achieve. Yeah. How I remember we... that they were completely unobtainable. <laughs> so, well, let's find out how we fared. Ben, let's review. Okay. So, May 25th, right at the beginning, play a full two sets without double folding a single time. Did Fail. You... You, you never achieved that? No, I don't think so. I don't think I did either. Yeah, that's... I mean, pros don't do that. That's kind of ridiculous. Too aggressive today. I can't yeah. help myself. Fourth of July, achieve less than 10% body fat. Where are you now and where were you then? Well, we don't even have a way to calculate that, so... So do you... <laughs> I get pinch. See, that's, oh, that's oh, skin, baby. That's some thick blubber. <laughs> You're flirting with 20% right now. No, my brother's fiance said that I had lost weight, so I'm gonna put that as I made improvements there, but did not achieve the milestone. I'm gonna say I also lost weight, but not due to tennis. Due to a new job I picked up that's more physically demanding. Or due but to I'll not having money from being fired and not being able to eat. Um, July 19th, start of Wimbledon, which didn't happen. Nope. Hit a 100 mile an hour serve. Have you? Nope. So we were supposed to have this radar gun from a friend who's in a baseball program. Yeah, that was. Turns out he said that it can't be borrowed. Um, he would have to go through the, the manager of the franchise's permission to get it. He talked it all up and then he came out with that and it was a complete letdown. Complete letdown. <clears throat> all we can do is estimate. Yeah. What's your best guess? Um, I'd say I'm like my fastest serve. I mean, I think I can probably hit it 100 miles an hour, but like in getting a serve in, probably like low 90s. So you can hit, you can physically hit a ball 100 miles an hour. Yes, but your accuracy fails at that speed, and you'll never get it in. Correct. It's a mistress that I'm courting, and sometimes she gives me her attention and other times she spurns me and there doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason it's just someday she has better things to do than play with me you know what i think i think again it's just a guess and i don't want to be tooting my own horn right, you got it i think you've got it you think i eclipsed the one i, I think you did yeah i think you easily got it it was uh about a week or two ago now and it just came off and it felt so right it yeah, just I mean, exploded off the string bit. Yeah, it popped. I, um, I think you do it pretty frequently. You like think? Just, yeah, I mean, like to start off a match before your arm gets sore. Yeah. I'm blushing. All right, what's next? Split sets first flag on August 1st. You know, playing next gen points, I actually think I've done it. You taking the set for me? Yes. Is it on film? No. Then it didn't happen. 
Come on, you gotta give me a little ground here. You want me to graduate your program or what? No, I, I did split sets, legitimately. Threw him a like ball and took the L for him. He didn't throw me a ball. He was about to drop out of the program. Honestly, my entire goal in, in wanting to play tennis is to just, um, it, it's not to get better, it's just to be a formidable opponent for Caleb. And maybe one day beat him, because the man, I mean, despite his claims of not wanting to be arrogant, he has a lot. He definitely has an inflated opinion of himself. One time I got a text, dude, I'm on fire today. <laughs> Guess how much I'm going to beat you by tomorrow. I was just like, well, I don't know. I was firing off on all cylinders. What can I say? <laughs> September 5th, Labor Day, playing a doubles tournament. Well, we played doubles with Mike and Jose. Oh, yeah, that was an absolute thrashing. I think we bageled y'all. Yeah, it was bad. Something you would like to forget, I imagine. Yeah, that was, that was, that has probably been the low point of my tennis. His journey. Wilson Clash racket has never been as close to getting smashed as it was then. Yeah. I wanted to smash it. I didn't even want to smash it. I just felt utterly defeated. Like, that's why, ten I mean, you know, tennis is such a cerebral game. If I'm not in the right headspace, my, my emotions fluctuate a lot normally. Ah. In the game, if I if I'm not ready to play, it just really takes a hit. I told him if he if I ever saw him play that poor leg in, he had to return his racket to the store where he bought it. So, and I'm gonna hold you to that for the rest of your life. Wow. Okay. September 13th. Nothing to do with tennis, but attend the U.S. Open final. Well, I watched the final. <laughs> <laughs> we were there in spirit, but not in person. Dominic Team taking his first slam. Ooh, that was pretty cool. First time in a long time but someone other than a goat does claim the slam. Yeah, but there's extenuating circumstances. Nadal and Federer didn't play. Oh. And Joker got thrown out for hitting the Adam's apple of a uh, line judge. Yeah. Smacking a ball. Uh, uh, <laughs> huge asterisk on that win for Dominic. Huge asterisk. It doesn't even count, really. September 21st. <laughs> this Achieve less than 5% body fat. Is that humanly possible? I don't think so. <laughs> October 15th. Defeat Carrie in best of three sets. <laughs> oh, Lo love you, Carrie. It just didn't work out. Extenuating circumstances. Pan pandemic. What do you want to call that? Um, caution. Corona caution to the max. Yeah. On the spectrum, you did 10. You still got the Lysol. still cooped up in the house. Um, he bought groceries for nine months in supply. Um, he said because we're young, we could be asymptomatic hypercarriers. He wants nothing to do with us until a vaccine is presented. He actually told me, "Don't even text me. I feel like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna catch it." Rona seeping through his cell phone. <laughs> Maybe don't put that in. Okay, that's we're caught up. That's it. Oh, I mean, point. the next one is November 25th, which hasn't happened yet. So I distinctly remember you saying you wanted, you were at 2.5, and your goal was to be a 3.5. Yeah, let's uh, check out what that means. What do you say you've accomplished that? Uh, 3.5. A 3.5, as defined by the USTA, players achieve stroke dependability with directional control on moderate shots, but still lacks depth, variety, and the ability to alter the distance of shots. The effective use of lobs, overheads, approach shots, and volleys is limited. The player is more comfortable at the net and has improved court awareness and is developing teamwork in doubles. Um, so a couple of those things, I think I checked those boxes. The ones that I don't check, the player is more comfortable at the net. I, I don't feel comfortable at the net in any sense. You're allergic to the net. I am. But I haven't really given it any attention to improve. So that's to be expected. That's something that I want to work on. Improved court awareness, I would say I definitely have improved court awareness. Like, I, I see the game more than I used to. I didn't really understand. Like, I didn't view it as a, uh, a problem-solving situation. It was just like, hit the ball back and forth, just return it initially. And now I'm like sort of returning with purpose and developing a point and sort of knowing where I want to go. So, start there. Developing teamwork and doubles. Okay. What do you think of my doubles play? Four, to say the least. What areas do I need to work on for that? Um, pretty much your volleys, your mm -hmm. 
forehands, your backhands, your serves, uh, your half volleys. Let's see, this is just cleaners. This is just too much. Your drop shots, your lobs. Um, okay. I think that that's but that's it. Nothing more than that. Yeah, nothing more than that. <laughs> Here's one thing that needs improvement as well. Court etiquette. Yeah. Down the toilet, dude. Yeah. He'll purposely wait for you to look away and then he'll just hit the ball at you as it rolls by. Yeah. Just I can tell. I can tell that really. You see what? Equally as far from you as it was to be. So with that said, I think you can tell, you all can tell from the footage, you've come a long way, but what dawned on us is no matter how far we come, there is no Woo. pinnacle. This is the mountain. This is where we were. This is where we are. And realistically, there's no end in sight. There's no end in sight. There's no point in a one's tennis journey where you say, okay, I've made it. I've made it. <laughs> You're a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Flag. With all that said, you have technically graduated the course. Woo! <laughs> Here is your gift. Christmas isn't for two months. A token to uh, keep you playing. A wonderful game of tennis. Ooh. Let's show our audience what you've been gifted. All right, I uh, used Dunlop <laughs> four ball. That's for your uh, pump. <laughs> <laughs> a pen coach ball, which we didn't buy. I don't know where this came from. That's for you. <laughs> a Dunlop three, definitely worn. I may have found that on the court. And oh, dirty. X, <laughs> some XL socks. Ooh, that looked pretty fresh. Oh, dirty. Nike Court. Ooh. Only the finest for the feet. Check out that Heritage logo. That's gonna look fresh. Man, I love these. What else you got? What about, so that was my progress. Your initial goal was, you were at a 3.5, or did you think you were at a four? So, no, I said 3.5. Okay. I remember that. So if we're going by that, then there's no way I'm at a 3.5. No way, no way, no how. Why not? Because like your ability back then, Are you compared sure? to my ability now, is not equal. I was so inconsistent back then. Perhaps, but I still think you had the repertoire. I was, at, had, I was athletic, but I didn't have the... True, that's just something that I can't, um, I can't improve. But I didn't have loads of technique. But you have beaten a collegiate level player. Yes, I'm on par with a D3 player who hasn't played in years. He says he's rusty as all get out. But, nonetheless, I split with sets with him and, and or beat him. Would you say I'm a 4.0? Yes. You would? Yeah, I would say you could definitely, like, if there was a 4.0 player, you would be able to play with them and p potentially win. Like, what did Brennan say about your style? He said I was extremely defensive. I think that's an interesting thing because we've really only been playing tennis with each other and like we've been playing so rigorously so many times a week. I mean, you've played a couple, you've got a couple different people that you've played, but it's almost like you haven't been chained by conventional training and technique and so your ability is odd to most people because it just developed completely organically and naturally. So when you're playing, it's like you might not do things correctly, but it's it throws people off and you do it effective. It's, it might not be technically correct, but it's technically effective. So it is interesting. Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's good. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you in six months, if not sooner. And if all goes according to plan, We'll be nationally ranked collegiate players. Ooh, I'll remember. see you in one year. And remember, trashman tennis. It's all about the tennis trashman, and it's a stupid. <laughs>